Alrighty guys, so the first rune that we are going to be looking for is Balefire Bolt. So this rune is very, very interesting because it requires you to have a scroll of spatial mending and you have to run around multiple areas. The areas are Barrens, Westfall, Darkshore, Silver Pine Forest, uh, Ashenvale, Red Ridge Mountains, Swamp of Stars, Desolus, Fairless, Ajara, Blasted Lands and some other max level zones potentially and you have to look for a fell sliver fell crack fell tear or fell scar so here in feralis there can be a fell scar so it's just in this area right around here with all the gnolls and it's just like a glowing portal that we have to look for so this can be very very time consuming you could also get very very lucky and find this uh portal pretty easily and if you do you just target the portal and you use the scroll on it so i am going to be looking around the world trying to find this one and i will use the scroll and show you what happens once i find said portal so i will let you guys know and show you that when we get there so i'll see you then Voop. Alrighty guys, so I ended up coming to the Barrens and running around this little loop here around the crossroads because a ton of fell slivers showed they spawned in this area and I did end up finding one and now we are going to use our scroll here to close the fell portal and bam a fell interloper appears we kill her and bam we get some reagents and we get our rune for spell notes bale fire bolt so easy peasy just like that we were able to get that rune pretty quickly it wasn't too terrible once i came here and was able to get it but there is the spell notes balefire bolt i'm not entirely sure where it is in my inventory so i can't learn it at this moment because you know bags are a mess but we did get it it's right there and i will see you at the next room Alrighty guys, so in order to get your next rune, it requires you to have friendly with the Emerald Warden's rep, which is done through the incursions. Um, I have a video that talks about incursions more specifically, but essentially you come to either Feralis here at the Emerald Portal, or you go to the Hinterlands right here, as well as there are level 40 portals at Ashenvale that you can do and 25 at Duskwood, depending on your level. Um, you do these daily quests right here to get a uh, fight the Nightmare Incursions. So you complete one in Feralis or Hinterlands and it will give you 1,000 rep. It took me about an hour or two with the daily to get my rep. It, every incursion you do is 75, so you get a group together and you can just sort of blast them very quickly, and then you're able to get your rune. For mages, it is Molten Armor, and it is really, really powerful. So I would highly recommend that you guys do this, get this rune, this is probably the best rune for this phase and here are all the other classes runes as well but anyway that's what you do and i will see you at the next one Alrighty, guys so in order to get this step of your room you have to come into zf and you need to use uh you have to fight these zombies and by fighting these zombies you will uh get the paper to drop the uh paper is going to be this uh, papyrus here as you can tell you know, typical zombies, you just kite them in a circle. We're using a hunter's uh, frost trap here. After a certain time, though, they can just start attacking you, so you got to be careful with that. But they drop pretty frequently. Um, your party does need to loot them, but after your party loots them, you're able to loot them. Bam, we got another one. We're going to need four more. But pretty easy. You just pull some zombies, fight them you'll probably get it within one round of the full tombs but we're at four and you just you know keep doing that until you get eight so that's it and i'll see you at the next part Alrighty, guys for the next step in the temporal anomaly quest chain you have to come here to feralis at about 75 60 and you just got to kill these bugs to get their resin 
after you get five resin, you are good and no longer have to kill them. So we are just going to sit here and blast some bugs. And as you see, we got one resin on the first kill. So it's a pretty common drop rate, but you know, the only good bug is a dead bug. Remember that when you're killing these. Um, pretty funny line from a movie and well quoted when you do AQ stuff. But anyway, we're going to kill five of these. As you saw, we got one on the first one, but not on the second one. So, you know, we might have to kill more than five bugs. But at level 50, you shouldn't have any issue with this. Um, you can even kill them when you are a lower level as well. But anyway, that is it for the wasps. And then we will head to Hinterlands for the quill. And I'll see you when we get there. Alrighty, guys. In order to get our pristine owlkin feather, you have to kill owl beasts here in hinterlands um you can just run around it also pairs very nicely with the hunt the savages quest where you can kill some owl beasts hopefully you know by 20 you get the rune that you are looking for and you don't have to kill more than that but you're looking for a pristine owlkin quill in order to get the final step for this anomaly rune so these owl beasts can be a little hard to find but once you find one they're not too terrible to kill. Here are two that are up right now, so we're going to blast these. And hopefully we get our quill on the first try. That'd be pretty awesome, right? But you, you never know. We'll just have to wait and see. But we are going to kill it, loot it, and we didn't get the quill. Unfortunate, but it's okay. We'll keep killing them, and I'll let show you guys the final turn in after we get it. So see you then. Alrighty guys, so in this phase a lot of the runes require a ton of you know searching and going after and it took me about eight to ten minutes to explain them. So for three of them they are going to be separate videos. So we are going to have the leyline rune video, which is for displacement. We are going to have the Wild Offering video, which is Advanced Warding, and then we have a video for Deep Freeze as well. So all three of these links are going to be down below in the description if you're interested in these three runes, how to get them, where to go. If I did not do this, it would take way, it'd be like a 40 to 50 minute video explaining every step and showing you guys in the detail that I prefer to do so. So if you're very interested in any of those three runes, definitely check out the description below for the right, for the full videos on how to get them because they are very long and take a while to go out in the world to find them. So that is why I chose to do this. But Anyway, guys, I truly hope you enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, it's going to be shorter than most of them, and you'll probably wonder, but that is because three of the videos are going to be linked. And at the time of recording this one, I have not done the ley line rune yet for displacement. Still trying to find a group and make a group with the scrolls and the uh, imps that are required to do it because it's pretty obnoxious. So um, I'll have that down in the description as soon as I am finished with all of that. But anyway, guys, that is it for this video. I truly hope you enjoyed it and it helps you out a ton. If you have any questions, anything about all the runes, definitely drop it down below. I love reading them and doing my best to help you. But until next time, I'll see you later. Have a great day. Bye bye If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day. And that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.